Okay, in this example, we want to determine what is the sixth term in the sequence below. So the sequence is 1, 3, 7, 15, 31. Okay, we got to figure out the sixth one, and then it jumps to 127. So we have these four choices, either 62, 63, 68, or 67. So these problems can be a little tricky sometimes because, you're, you know, um, sometimes it's not clear what to do. Anytime I see these problems, the first thing that I do is I always start thinking how far apart are the numbers. How far apart are those numbers? So let's see, if I look at the how far apart 1 and 3 are, well 3 minus 1, those are 2 units apart. How far are 3 and 7 apart? Well 7 minus 3, that gives me a difference of 4. 15 minus 7, what's 15 minus 7? I guess that's 8. 31 minus 15, that's 16. So now the question is, are you seeing a pattern? Well, it looks like, you know, to go to the next difference, I'm multiplying by 2, right? I, I, 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 4 so let me say that again. <laughs> 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 multiplied by 2, that would be 32. 32 multiplied by 2 would be 64. Okay, so my guess is to get to the next number, I would basically be adding 32. Right, so 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 plus 8 is 15. Again, that's the difference. So 31 plus 32, that gives me 63. And let's check, because then if I add 64, 63 plus 64 is, in fact, 127. So it looks like, to me, this would be the correct choice. Another thing to notice is, notice you're doing powers of 2. This is 2 to the 1st, 2 to the 2nd, 2 to the 3rd, 2 to the 4th. This number is 2 to the 5th, 2 to the 6th. Um, so you're also, the differences are powers of 2, but um, you may or may not recognize the powers of 2, but this would be my initial thing, is I'm thinking, how far apart are they? Well, it looks like you're doubling that sort of distance apart, and again, these can be tricky problems, but um, this is always the first thing I do, is uh, to, to basically think how far apart they are and see if I can spot a pattern. There's not a good general rule for these problems, you know. It's not like uh, solving a linear equation where you, there's kind of a, a procedure that you do. Um, these, you know, I've had these problems before where you get some sort of weird sequence, and sometimes it's hard to spot them. So, um, you know, this is one of these where I would say either you see it pretty quickly or you don't. If you don't, I would say my own advice would be not to spend too much time on it because it would be easy to get sucked in on it. Um, if you don't see it relatively quickly, then I would say skip it and keep on trucking.